So the basic thing is playing transfer level and soul is that if our suit is higher ranking than theirs, then we actually have two possible invitations. The slow bit of our suit at the three level via two no trump three clubs is mildly invitational and the fast transfer into our suit is always at least strongly invitational and might even be forcing. The difference is is that over the the fast transfer into spades partners expected to indicate whether or not they would accept a strong invitation to game. So playing transfer level and soul, the slow bids of a new suit at the three level are always invitational. The split only occurs when we can compete at the two level in our suit, because our suit's higher ranking than theirs. And now we have two possible invitations, mild and strong. Yes, Joe, that's absolutely right. Uh, I mean, it may even be that if they're strong enough, if they are strong enough to accept the invitation, you might even start queue bidding. It's not impossible. I, I mean, East West are actually fairly close to slam here. You know, give uh, East the ace king of spades rather than just the king. And uh, slam is 75%, just on two finesses in uh, in heart. So uh, it all it all fits together. But like I said, that's only yes, they they've got that option, Susie. Um, you know, to say that they they would accept an invitation, but not necessarily in spades, and that they've got, you know, the good cover elsewhere. Um, that's not to say that that partner may not convert to four spades, because you must have at least a small doubleton. Um, but at least they know that that's what you, you will have if you bid three no trumps. So you can accept game. It doesn't have to be in their suit, in partner's suit. Um, you may have superb stops everywhere else, and are expecting to be able to establish partner suit. Yes, we do. Um, but not over, not over interference, Joe. So yes, we play one no trump, four diamonds as a transfer to hearts that's not interested in a slam and one no trump four hearts as a transfer to spades with a hand that's not interested in the slam. The point being that the sequence one no trump just hang on a second Amrin man um, back to your question Joe uh, we uh, we play a sequence like one no trump two hearts two spades four spades as a mild slam try because a hand that wasn't interested in the slam would go via four hearts rather than two hearts and then bid in game. Um, just the same as if you transfer into a minor and then bid three no trumps, we play that as a mild slam try. Because if you weren't interested in the slam, you'd just bid three no trumps over one no trump. Um, essentially, essentially uh, um, there aren't any differences, Jim, if you play this with a strong no trump. Obviously, the only differences are the relative strengths or the likely relative strengths of the two hands. Um, you know, OCP, the system that I teach and play, um, uses either a mini 10 to 12 or an intermediate 13 to 15 one no trump. And so if partner has a hand worth an invitation or a game force, the likelihood is that they are at least as strong as I am. Um, or, or approaching that um, and normally the hands tend to play better when that's the case than when one member of the partnership is a lot stronger and one member of the partnership is a lot weaker because it's 
when you've got lots of strength in both hands, it's easier to, you know, have a choice of which way to take finesses um, in some suits. Uh, you have options for the play that you don't necessarily have when one hand is strong and one hand is relatively weak. But as far as the sequences are concerned, no, there's absolutely no difference. You just have to adjust your thinking in terms of what's worth an invite and what isn't according to the strength of the opening one no trump. Does that answer your question, Jim? Okay. So, is everybody with me so far about um, bids of a new suit? All of the bids from um, two no trumps, which is the the eleven sold bid, um, but three clubs, three diamonds, three hearts, and three spades are all transfers. If if uh, ops interfere over the one no trump opening, if you're playing transfer eleven sold, and transfers into a norm a, a, a new suit are always either weak or game forcing. Um, if you can compete in your suit at the two level, then obviously the weak option for the transfer goes out the window. And now the transfer into your suit at the three level is always at least strongly invitational, uh, if not game forcing. Um, so whether East here makes a mild invitation or a strong invitation depends entirely on their... Um, uh, they're holding you know if ops bid hearts over one no trump um, then they might only make a mild invitation uh, in spades um, because they only really want to be in game if opener is super maximum three clubs are transferred to diamonds three diamonds transfer to hearts three hearts are transferred to spades three spades to transfer to clubs but it's always a strong transfer nope absolutely not Jackie spades is unequivocally yeah north bid three diamonds bid two diamonds rather and east transferred into spades with a fast bid of three hearts if east had bid three spades over two diamonds that would be a transfer to clubs <coughs> sorry Jackie I'm not sure what you're you're suggesting three spades is not a transfer to clubs to sorry to clubs or diamonds it's a un, un totally a transfer to clubs and because you've always got two no trumps effectively as a transfer to three clubs if you just want to compete in clubs, the three spade bid is always a strong transfer. It's always game forcing, particularly because um, in most instances you'll probably end up going past three no trumps. Okay, so if you if you just want to compete in diamonds over two diamonds, you would just bid three clubs, but that wouldn't be what you think I'll come to you know that's a Q bid so I'll come back to that in a minute obviously if, if ops are bidding two diamonds you're not going to want to compete in diamonds um, but three clubs here is 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 you're anticipating you know the later part of the lesson but transferring into their suit is the fast Q bid of their suit So if, if give East a load of hearts rather than spades, then East would bid three diamonds over two diamonds, and that would just be a transfer to hearts. It's not the fast cubit of their suit. Over two diamonds, three clubs is the fast transfer of their suit, uh, fast cubit of their suit. But more of that in a minute. I don't want to anticipate too much. That's okay.
So I'm just repeating that one again, just so that we don't lose the flow of the lesson. So if our suit is lower ranking than their suit, then the transfer into a new suit is always either weak or strong. It's not invitational. If you wanted to invite, invite you would bid your suit in a, by a slow means of two no trumps, three clubs, and then bid your suit. And I said before that you can't invite in clubs. Obviously you can, but you can't invite in clubs below the level of three no trumps. If it goes one no trump, two hearts by ops, you could bid two no trumps, partner bids three clubs, and now you bid four clubs, and that would be invitational in clubs. But it's a hand that's not interested in playing in three no trumps, obviously, because you've gone past three no trumps. So it's, it's almost certainly going to be a hand with short hearts and... Um, uh, and wanting to play in maybe five clubs or at least four clubs. So you can invite in clubs, but uh, not below three no trumps. Okay, now for some reason, this this confuses some people um, the fast bid of their suit i.e. three diamonds in this instance is not the fast cubid of their suit that it would be if we were playing normal Levensol if you're playing transfer Levensol all of the bids from three clubs up to three spades are transfers so if I bid three diamonds, it's just a transfer to hearts here. But if I bid three clubs, I'm effectively transferring into their diamond suit because they bid two diamonds. So three clubs is the fast cubid of their suit. Yes, go on, Ian. Absolutely. If you want to compete in clubs, Ian, that's the way that you do it. If you had a weak hand with seven clubs and you just want to compete in clubs over their two diamonds interference, you just bid two no trumps, partner bids three clubs and you pass it. Yeah, go on, Peter. Um, as I said before, doubles are essentially 100% for penalties. Um, they will either be a hand with a trump stack, and unless we're at favourable vulnerability, i.e. we're not vulnerable and they're vulnerable, um, it will normally be a hand... Um, that's near enough worth an invitation to three no trumps but the interference has essentially robbed us of the ability to make that, inv that invitation um, so basically it's for penalties but we can um, opener if we're vulnerable and they're not opener can decide to treat it as invitational with a good holding in their suit and convert to three no trumps um, on the basis that the vulnerable game is more likely to um, to gain us more points than taking them two or three off not vulnerable. So, so doubles essentially are, are for penalties. We don't play, if you're playing transfer 11 sol, 
or normal Leaven Soul for that matter, you tend not to play things like stolen bid doubles, um, doubles of two clubs being stamen and so on. Um, because Leaven Soul gives us other means of exploring for that. If you'd rather play stolen bid doubles, that's fine. But uh, normally, if you're playing Eleven Soul or Transfer Eleven Soul, you tend not to, because otherwise you you lose the ability to penalise the opponents. Uh, and it's it's good to be able to keep ops honest. Let's find another. Another hand here. So a 13 to 15, one no trump here. So here, West is 13 to 15. East has a nice 12 count. Um, They've got four card spades, so they effectively want to use a stay manic sequence that shows the spades and game going values over two hearts. So the way we do it, if we were playing normal Levin Sol, we would bid three hearts at this point. But playing transfer Levin Sol, um, we would bid three diamonds, which is effectively transferring into their heart suit and it's not saying they want partner to bid three hearts it's saying I've got game forcing values I've got no heart stop because it's a fast cube bid of their suit and I've got four card spades Okay, so if you if you weren't playing if you were playing normal Levin Sol, not transfer Levin Sol. If you were playing normal Levin Sol, you would bid three hearts as East. But because three hearts effectively will be um, invitational plus, i.e. at least this strong invitational with five plus spades, we bid three diamonds, which is transferring into their heart suit. And so that's the fast cubit of their suit. So three diamonds is showing no heart stop, four card spades, and game going values. And it's easy for West to place the right contract if we do that. Any questions? Is anybody struggling with the idea of transferring into their suit being the fast cubit of their suit? For some reason, this always seems to cause problem year on year out. Um, if you actually bid their suit, you're transferring into the suit above it. In other words, it's weak, it's at least strong or invitational strongly invitational or forcing in the suit above their suit. So if you're playing transfer Levin Sol, if East bid three hearts here, it wouldn't be the fast cubit of their suit. It's just a transfer to spades. I hope you all understand that. That's a matter of your style, um, Jim. OCP, the system I play, would never open one no trump with a five card major. Right, just, just one thing at a time, guys. Um, uh, it's an entirely a matter for your style. If, if you prefer to open one no trump with a five card major, that's fine. OCP, the system that I teach, doesn't. Um, if you had seven six five four two, 
in spades, you might decide to treat that as a four card suit. Um, but it would have to be of the order of that week and probably semi balanced, definitely. Um, uh, five, three, three, two. Um, but that's definitely the exception. You know, even jack to five, I would be bidding one spade or one heart rather than opening one no trump, personally. But different systems, obviously. You know, eleven sol is nothing really to do with the system that you play. Okay. Uh, next question. Why not three hearts? Nori, because three hearts would just be a transfer to spades. That would be a hand that was at least strongly invitational with five or six spades. Because now we're talking about transfer eleven sol, not normal eleven sol. We dealt with normal eleven sol last week. This week we're looking at transfer eleven sol. So the three heart bid is a transfer. One minute, Susie. I've got to take Andrea's question first. Andrea, you had a question? Okay, good question, Andrea. Um, uh, in some respects, it is the same. But when we come to Q bids and bids of three no trumps, particularly of Q bids, you will see that it's definitely not the same against artificial interference. Uh, that we look at next week. So please come back next week and I deal with how Transfer Eleven Soul copes against artificial interference. Um, I know in practice most people use artificial interference, but you have to get the basic idea of Transfer Eleven Soul and Normal Eleven Soul for that matter under your belt before you start thinking about uh, defending against artificial interference. If you go, if you launch, particularly with the qubits, if you launch straight into dealing with artificial interference, um, it just becomes hopelessly confusing. Once you've got the basic uh, mechanics of Transfer Eleven Sol under your belt, then uh, um, then you can start thinking about, you know, when one no trump two diamonds actually shows both majors. You know, it's 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 now a wholly different um, thing, particularly where cubids of their suit come in. Okay, so come back next week and all will be revealed. Nuri, if you're playing normal Levensol, i.e. what I showed you last week, then yes, one no trump, intervention of two hearts, three hearts, is stay manic. It's the fast cubid of their suit. This week, we are looking at transfer eleven sol, not normal eleven sol. So if you bid three hearts over two hearts, it's just a transfer to spades. It's not the fast cubit of their suit. Because all of the bids, if ops interfere at the two level, all of the bids from three clubs up to and including three spades are all transfers to the next suit up. So over one no trump two hearts, if you want to make a stay manic cubid of hearts, you transfer into their heart suit by bidding three diamonds, as happened in the sequence shown there. Do you understand? Nuri, do you follow that? Oh God, maybe he's not got voice. Hang on a minute. Roger, I think I think there's maybe he just doesn't bother using voice because there's a language problem. Um,
No. Peter, um, no, two spades is just, uh, if they have overcalled two hearts or two diamonds over um, one no trump, then two spades is just competitive in spades. It's just, you know, wanting to compete in spades, but it's not remotely invitational. So if you can bid your, your suit at the two level, then, then and all you want to do is to compete, then you just bid it at the two level. If you've got, if your suit's higher ranking than theirs, and you just want to compete, just compete at the two level. There's no point forcing yourself to go to the three level. And as I've explained before, if if you could have competed at the, the two level in your suit over their interference, then the fast transfer into your suit at the three level is now not, not weak or strong, as it would be if our suit was lower ranking, it would the instead of weak it's at least strongly invitational in your suit if not forcing and one no trump opener indicates with their their bid over your transfer whether they would or would not accept an invitation we saw that the hand before last or the, the last hand okay peter Right. Um, did I claim that one? I think I did. Yes. Okay. So I've, I've pointed out there that you can't make a slow qubit of clubs below the level of three no trumps if they've bid clubs. You can, of course, make a fast qubit of clubs by bidding three spades over their two club bid. So if it goes one no trump, two clubs, interference, and you now bid three spades, that is the fast qubit of their suit so that's no club stock game values and probably 4-4 four, four in the majors it's the slow cube bid that you lose and and as I've said there you just have to accept that that's one of the limitations of Levensol you gain so much in every other sequence that that's a small price to pay So if you had both majors and a club stop, uh, you would probably just show both majors and hope that partners either got a major um, or has got something in clubs and would bid three no trumps if they haven't got either four card majors. You just have you just have to go with what you can do. So if we just go back to this hand, um, okay, so now the three heart bid is at least strongly invitational or game forcing in spades. OK, because our suit's higher ranking than theirs. So 
if West wants to indicate that they wouldn't accept an invitation, then basically they would just bid three spades. If they do anything else, then effectively they're saying that they would accept an invitation. So as we discussed earlier, if they had, say, two small spades only, but an upper range hand uh, with good stops elsewhere, I don't think they would do it on this particular hand, but they could bid three no trumps to say they wouldn't, they would accept an invitation, but not necessarily in spades. In other words, they've only got two small spades. If they had three small or two to an honour, they, they would accept an invitation in spades. Um, but give them a different hand, they could even start cubiting over three hearts. You know, if West bids, um, I don't know, four clubs here, this is saying I'm maximum. You know, if all you wanted to do was to make a strong invitation, then just bid four spades. You know, because my hand hasn't changed from being 10 to 12. But if you had a game forcing hand and you're near looking for a slam, here's an advanced cubit agreeing spades of four clubs, and you've kick started the cubiting sequence. So anything other than three spades here is accepting the invitation. Okay. Any questions before we move on? So that there shows essentially what I've just been explaining. Yes, of course they can. Walid, of course they can. They may be wildly, you know, they could show a second suit. They can, um, you know, if they've got a hand that really doesn't want to play in three no trumps, they might be void in op suit, for example. Um, you know, they might have, they might be six five or um, have a seven card spade suit. You know, of course they can, they can convert. This is this is a conversation that you're having with opener. Um, you know, the, the, the fast transfer at the three level, the three heart bid in this sequence that's shown here, is at least strongly invitational, if not forcing. Um, you know, if West bids three no trumps to say, yes, I've got a, an upper range or maximum hand, um, but I've only got two spades and I've got good cover in their suit. Over to you to decide where to play. And East may pass, they may insist on spades, they may show a second suit if they're wildly distributional. Um, you know, this is a, a constructive conversation that you're having. Okay. Okay, Walid. Okay, um, just go back to this hand.
Yeah, I appreciate that, Joe. I'm just showing the mechanics. Just bear with me a second. Um, okay, so if you take this hand, where East has said, right, I've got a game forcing values, I've got no heart stop, I've got four card spades. Suppose West didn't have a heart stop. Okay, what they would, and they haven't got four card spades. This is that's the problem scenario. Um, if West had only two card hearts and three card spades, they might still bid four spades on the basis that um, four spades on a motion fit may be easier to make than uh, five of a minor, even on a four forfeit. So that's an option. Um, but, uh, you know, give West. Jack XX in hearts and only say two card spades and they're four four in the minors or they've got a five card minor um, the normal methodology that I would suggest is that if you if you bid a minor suit over three diamonds uh, if it goes three diamonds four diamonds or three diamonds four clubs that's a five card suit but if if instead of bidding three spades or bidding three no trumps west bids three hearts over three diamonds now they're showing four four in the minors and saying listen i i can't support spades i can't bid three no trumps take your pick of the minors um Again, you can you can play differently than that, but that's the methodology that I would suggest. Everybody follow that. So that explains, the text there explains essentially exactly what I've just just explained. It all depends on what West has over the three diamond fast qubit of hearts. Four spades for sure, Barry. I, I mean, on the other hand, you could bid four clubs over three diamonds, as I said before. Um, there's no reason why West can't start Q bidding. Um, but the danger of that, I, I mean, I would rather that West bids three spades if they're potentially prepared to cooperate towards a slam and four spades if they accept the game force and they've got four card spades but they're not particularly interested in going further the trouble is if you if you start q bidding here you're running into the same territory that we've just been exploring of uh, where west doesn't have support for spades doesn't have a heart stop but they have got five card clubs What, on the sequence shown here, Barry, you mean? Three spades. Three spades. The principle of fast arrival applies here. Three spades says, I agree, spades. I've got a maximum hand. I've got good controls. Let's start cupiding. If you've got a hand that's worth anything more than an, a basic game force. Yeah. 
you know, East are shown at least a hand with game values, but they don't have to be stronger than a 12 count or the 13 count opposite uh, a 13 to 15 one no trump. No, Sanya, it doesn't really. As I've just explained, four clubs over three diamonds on this sequence would would imply that you can't bid three no trumps, you can't support spades, and you have got five card clubs. In other words, it's an, an escape, not an advanced cubid for clubs. You can you can play it differently if you prefer. If you don't want to play that methodology that I, I just explained of um, bidding three hearts here shows four four in the minors, and if you bid a minor, it shows a five card suit. Um, if you don't if you don't want to play that, okay. If if you want to play differently, that's fine. Um, but if you're going to play that, then you can't really play one no trump, two hearts, three diamonds, four clubs as a cubit agreeing spades. So all West can really do is to bid three spades here to say, I've got a maximum hand, I've got four spades, I've got decent controls. If you're potentially worth more than, if you're potentially interested in playing in, in six, let's start Q bidding. Okay. Righty ho. Okay, so don't forget that one, it's only mildly invitational because if you were had a hand worth a strong invitation in hearts, you would bid three hearts over two hearts. So the slow three spade bid is only mildly invitational. Okay, so that's all the slow bids taken care of. So that's what we saw in this sequence. So in this instance, bidding three no trumps um, over the transfer is less encouraging. Um, and bidding four clubs, uh, or even Q bidding in, in some other suit, is more encouraging than just bidding three no trumps. So one no trump, two hearts, three no trumps um, uh, does occur. You may think it's a bit quixotic. Uh, so it's denying a stop in hearts and denying four card spades. As I said last week, most often it's, it's probably a hand based on a, a long minor. Um, so you're expecting to take six tricks in um, at least in the minor and... Uh, you just need partner to be able to stop their suit. And if they can't, then obviously they'll convert to four clubs or four diamonds or something. 
Okay, any questions on transfer Levensol? I've got one last thing to say in a minute, but uh, anybody got any questions about what we've covered tonight? Got a couple more uh, example hands. Okay. Okay, so I mentioned at the start that, that some people tend to confuse transfer lemon sol with rubin sol. They are different conventions. And the, 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 the differences are subtle, but they are critical. Okay, so Rubensol effectively includes three no trumps in the transfers. So, so Rubensol would play one no trump interference three spades as the fast three no trumps I'm not entirely sure what they bid what they play three no trumps as um, Personally, I'd, I'd rather take three no trumps entirely out of the transfers. So if you bid three no trumps over their interference, it's the fast three no trumps. If you bid three spades, it's a transfer to clubs, always strong. Um, it just seems more intuitive because it's essentially, if you're playing four-way transfers, it's the same as what you'd play at the two level. There are entirely possible, Joe. I, I mean, I, I've never actually played Ruben Sol. Um, I, I got into Transfer Eleven Sol at a fairly early age, and the person taught me Transfer Eleven Sol rather than. Uh, Ruben Sol, and I've never actually played Ruben Sol, um, as I'm about to say in a minute. Yeah, indeed, um, the, the next lesson deals with um, artificial interference, the lesson next week. So yeah, I, I think, in fact, there are, Joe, go back to your comment, I think there are actually a number of different ways of playing Levensol, and so it may just be a matter of style as to, to which of those you you, you decide to follow. Um, transfer Levensol is unequivocal in the sense that it's always played the same way, as far as I'm aware. I've never seen a different interpretation of Transfer Levensol than the one that I've just shown you. And that, uh, I think, is is the reason I prefer Transfer Eleven Sol in theory. Like I said, I've never actually played Ruben Sol, but it strikes me that you can get preempted 
and not get your hand off your chest playing Ruben Sol. Whereas if you want to compete playing transfer 11 Sol, you can always do so with one bid. You don't have to go through the slow sequence at all. Um, and, and because I'm a fairly aggressive bidder, that's what I'd rather do. If I'm prepared to compete at the three level, I'd rather be able to show my suit and show that I want to at least compete with one bid, i.e. transferring into my suit. Um, and uh, I don't want to have to go via two no trumps, three clubs. Because now, if Ops suit is higher ranking and they bid it at the three level, I'm effectively forced to pass and partner doesn't know necessarily which suit I was wanting to compete in. Um, and it may well be that we could usefully compete at the four level, but partner doesn't know. I'm not going to bid because I was only intending to compete at the three level. Partner doesn't know which suit I was interested in. And uh, so, so we just fizzle out and allow ops to play at the three level. Well, that doesn't seem right to me. Any questions? So, can I have four victims, please? Um, no. Uh, well, if, if they've got a game-forcing hand, they just use the fast cubid of their suit. So, I, I mean, well, it just... If you, if you take the hand shown here, give East one less heart and one more club, they would still just bid three diamonds that shows four card spades, game values, no heart stock. Okay. One last victim, please, in the north seat. Come on, don't be shy. But initially, you don't want to. You, you're primarily trying to reach four spades if partner has four card spades. If partner hasn't got four card spades and they don't want to play in three no trumps, they're either going to bid three hearts to show four four in the minors or they're going to bid four of a minor to show a five card suit and now you just bid five diamonds or five clubs. You want to look at spades first because four spades is a lot easier to make than five clubs or five diamonds where you nearly have to have slam values. Like I said, there are some situations where you might end up in four spades, even on a 4-3 fit, on the basis that 10 tricks in spades is going to be easier to make than 11 tricks in a minor. Okay. Right, just fine. Just bear with me a second, though. So don't forget, guys. Um, oh, bloody hell. All right, Joe, uh, just hang fire a minute. Um, let, me just, let me just check these hands a second. All right, I'm sorry. Scrap what I said before. This is using... Um, uh, imagine this is using... These hands are using a 13 to 15 one no trump throughout. I thought I'd change these hands last year to a vulnerable one no trump just for the sake of these hands can you just assume that they are 13 to 15 throughout 
Right, carry on, guys. So it's more for a responder to think about than anything else. Yeah, uh, just assume that these are all natural overcalls. Like I said, next week we'll come to artificial overcalls. Um, <laughs> Did you fall asleep earlier, Joe? <laughs> No, it's fine, Joe. Sorry, I was only kidding. Um, the uh, There's two options that you have over three hearts, uh, I think, here. Four spades is the one that you would not take, I feel. Um, but more of that in a minute. Okay, can we have a, a lead and a claim, please? Okay, so here we had uh, one no trump from north, 13 to 15, a two hearts overcall from east, and south decided to bid three hearts, which is at least strongly invitational in hearts, uh, sorry, in spades. Personally, with three spade, through three card, three small hearts. And an 11 count, I'm not sure I would have gone that route. I think I would have gone the slow invite route, i.e. mildly invitational. So I might have gone two no trumps, three clubs from north, three spades by south. Um, on the other hand, the three heart bid actually works out quite well because it protects... Um, the King of Hearts in North's hand. So, good one for South there. Over the three heart bid, Joe has three options, basically. They can start Q bidding, which is what they eventually did, which is fine. Or they could bid three spades, or they could bid four spades. Four spades, which is what they chose originally, shows that they got four spades but they have no interest in going further but actually for a 13 to 15 no trump they've got good controls outside and they're they are a bursting maximum for their 13 to 15 one no trump so i would bid three spades over three hearts rather than four spades but it's no problem to bid four clubs and start the cue bidding off immediately which shows essentially the same thing. Note that this is not the same situation as if 
south bids three diamonds over two hearts, i.e. the fast cubit of their heart suit, now four clubs would show five card clubs, no spades and no heart stop. Or not enough of a heart stop. Okay, any questions? Okay, 13 to 15, one no trump, don't forget. Whatever the vulnerability. Yeah, it's a cubid. Um, Peter. So, so four clubs in that previous sequence agrees spades and just shows a club control. Whether it shows the ace or the king is a matter for your style of cubids. You know, personally, I play Italian style cubids, so it could be either the ace or the king. It's not saying we have to bid on to slam, it's just saying, you know, if you had a hand that was, you know, easily worth a force and you're potentially interested in the slam, I'm perfectly happy to cooperate with that. And very often it might well be a matter as to whether you can show a club control as to whether you do that or bid three spades. You know, you might actually, if you couldn't show a club control, you might bid three spades rather than Q bidding diamonds or hearts. Okay, um, can we have a lead and a claim, please? Yeah, the thing to bear in mind, can we have a lead, please, uh, <laughs> South? Peter, can you lead? And lead, doesn't matter. It's just so, so somebody can claim and then everybody can see all the hands. South, Peter. Thank you. Okay, um, the question here really is whether East should bid four hearts. Bearing in mind that that Sanya, yeah, um, Sanya might not have a forcing hand. They might simply have a weakish hand with spade shortage and want to compete in hearts at the three level. They might be a lot weaker than they are now. Um, so, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say four hearts is wrong, but it's it's potentially risky. If our suit was higher ranking and the three diamond bid was exactly was at least strongly invitational, then clearly. East must bid four hearts, but where they might actually have an essentially weak hand and simply want to compete at the three level with longish hearts, um, you could potentially, you know, walk into a 300 penalty here with four hearts. Um, you know, it, there's no even guarantee, not even a guarantee that three hearts is going to make. It's unlikely that ops can double three hearts, but they may well be able to double four hearts. 
anyway, no, but by the by, um, yes, that's right. Go on, Charlene. Yeah, but again, the, the, there's a slight danger there. And I mean, this is, this is, if you like, the advantage of, of East bidding four hearts when they've got good support and control of spades. Um, is that for all you know, for all West knows, East might have two small hearts and North could be sat there with four or five of them. And again, you could walk into a huge penalty here, despite having game values, um, because you're making an assumption about what East has in hearts, if you bid four hearts after they've passed over three spades. So that, if you like, is the argument in East showing their, their heart support It's, it's interference and preemptive interference is designed to make life awkward for you. Like I said, Charlene, that's the, you know, that's the argument in favor of East bidding four hearts here over three spades. You know, what you could do as West is to double over three spades. If it goes three spades, pass, pass, you could double to show a strong hand. You could double over three spades to show a strong hand and six card hearts and, and gain values rather than a hand that just wanted to compete. And now East is well placed to bid three no trumps or to bid four hearts or to leave the double in. Okay. Off, John. Oh, personally, I've always played them off. Um, yeah, because only because you you lose. What? Why Texas transfers are off? Absolutely, it was Ian. Yes. Opposite a thirteen to fifteen one no Trump with a spade shortage six card hearts to the ace king you know and a 12 count you want to be in game somewhere you want to be in four hearts basically um, um, just there are sequences Sanya where um, uh, you you lose the ability for opener to show minimal support for your major and really good strength in their suit if you've bid at the four level. You take that chance if they don't interfere, um, you know, if you've got six card spades and a hand that wants to be in game but has no further interest, you take the chance on partner not having spade support and so on. Right, but they've already bid Sanya. If they're if they're going to sacrifice or or whatever, they're going to do it. They've already got their bid in. You know, if you want to play Texas transfers, that's fine. But you're giving up on some of the advantages that you have using transfer Levensol. Um, you know, rather than you insisting on playing in four of your major, 
you know, it may well be that actually three no trumps is the right place to play. If you've bid four hearts or four diamonds over their interference, you've given up that potential opportunity to actually get to the right contract. But supposing opener's got ace, queen, jack, x in, in hearts and two small spades. It may well be that, that three no trumps is actually the right place to play. If you've insisted on playing in four spades, that's all very well and it might be the right place to play. But, but the thing to remember is, is that bridge is a conversation and a lot of it is a matter of, of you saying, well, this is what I've got, you know, how do you feel about it? And it's that sort of a conversation. If, if you use Texas transfers when ops are already in the bidding, you're unilaterally deciding rather than having a conversation. There's times when that works. Um, and times when, you know, you actually end up avoiding the right contract and, and essentially grasping defeat from the, the jaws of victory. No, but that's using Texas when they haven't bid anything. You don't know that they're bidding hearts. You, you don't want to give partner the option. When they haven't entered the bidding, it's a different situation than when they have. That's all I'm, t I'm saying. You know, if, if they don't enter the bidding and you've got six card spades, you know, and a game going hand, but you're not interested in any further and you, you know, then, then the system is that you bid Texas transfers at the four level and you take a chance, if you like, on partner's strength in other suits and their relative support for spades because you've got six of them. But when they've bid and you have an actual, an opportunity for a more constructive, um, a more constructive conversation with partner about where it's best that you play, personally, I think you're better off having that conversation. Yeah, especially when you've got spades there's no way that ops can preempt you because if they try you can always just bid spades at the same level as them absolutely joe you know it's it's constructive bidding that's what it's all about and and the whole thing about transfer Levensol and Levensol generally is that it, it allows you to have that conversation with partner rather than you just deciding where you're going to play. Particularly when they've interfered and you've got a game going hand with a long suit. You know, you have the option of, of playing in your suit or playing somewhere else if it seems better. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's bid this one. Okay, so two spades interference, three hearts is the strong qubit of, the fast qubit of uh, their spades by transferring into the spades. So North's got a game going hand with no spade stop and four card hearts. Yes, you you must alert these bids, by the way. The three heart bids should be alerted. Um, four spades. It's an interesting... All right, just undo, Peter. Just hang on a minute. Yes. <laughs> 
That's much more like it, Peter. <laughs> Okay, claim however many. I think you're pro optimistic, Douglas. I think you're probably going to make two tricks at the most. Um, okay, so three hearts is game going hand, no spade stop, four card hearts. Three no chunks just says. I think 3 no trumps better, and with Sal's hand, I'm not surprised. In practice, not a fast 3 no trumps, no, a fast 3 no trumps would deny having a spade stopper, and would deny having four card hearts, and would probably be based on a long minor. A slow three no trumps would be promising the spade stopper, denying four card hearts, showing game values. Okay? So, fast denies. Always keep in your mind that fast denies when it comes to no trump bids and Q bids. Absolutely right, Roger. Somebody was paying attention last week. That's good to see. I should hope so too, Susie. Um, there is no system bid, Walid, um, on your question there. If we get a four level preemptive overcall, you either bid or you pass or you double. Um, there's no system bid, really. You know, if if it goes one no trump and they interfere with four hearts and you've got six card spades and, and a hand that's, you know, arguably worth an invite, you would bid four spades. If the vulnerability is right, you might even bid four spades not to make if you think they that you have no defense against their four hearts. But there's no system, there's no system for four level overcalls. There can't be. I appreciate that, Joe, but uh, that cuts out Levensol, so I'm glad you didn't. At this vulnerability, even? <laughs> I doubt it. Okay, so this is Invitational with a diamond suit. Because playing Transfer Eleven Soul, the slow bids of a new suit are always Invitational. Well done. Perfect sequence. Uh, 
about another 10 minutes. Right, okay. Uh, could we have a lead, please, Joe? Ooh, tricky. Very tricky. Okay, well done. Um, east hand there, just worth an invitation. Um, opposite a 13 to 15, one no trump. Any weaker and they'd be bidding three clubs rather than two no trumps, three clubs, three diamonds and just competing in diamonds. Any questions? Okay. I don't care, Sanya. We've had that conversation. <laughs> and you'll see why in a minute as well. You do your shopping later on, Sonia. Just bid the hand. Um, you better have a conversation about what for no Trump means. At this stage, you know, we would normally be playing this as Roman key card, I guess. Well, then why bid for no Trumps? Why not just bid a rolling four hearts? You see, four hearts here by East is rolling. It's, you know, we've had a three spade bid, and we've Q bid four clubs and four diamonds. Four hearts has to be rolling. It's not saying I want to play in four hearts. It's just saying, you know, I really don't have a spade control. 
Um, You guys must be psychic, is all I will say. We'll find out in a minute. Have a lead, uh, Peter. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, let's look at this, the bidding of this hand. Um, very nice spade suit. The thing is, Sanya, back to your Texas transfers. If you bid four diamonds, exactly. If West bids four diamonds here over two spades as a Texas transfer, East bids four hearts and West probably shuts up because they've taken away all of their bidding space and they probably don't go looking for a slam but having bid three diamonds but you must do to bid three spades that's the whole point about three spades is that you're thinking about more than four hearts otherwise you just bid four hearts No, but it's it, you're opposite a 13 to 15 one no trump, Sanya. You've got an 11 count. It's very unlikely that East is going to start Q bidding. If you bid four hearts over three hearts, there's no way in the world East is going to start Q bidding. You know, three spades is the critical bid here, and, you know, it's the right bid. All I'm saying is that if it had gone one no trump, two spades, four diamonds, four hearts, would you have bid four spades over a Texas transfer and a bid of four hearts? Possibly not. You can afford to bid three spades because you're below game level. That's the whole point. Anyway, okay, one last quick hand and uh, we'll call it a night. I mean, that wasn't, you know, something that we covered in our discussion on Texas transfers. Um, but, you know, you are potentially taking bidding space away from yourself. Let's see what North South can make of this one. Um Initially, their actions may be ambiguous. You could either start Q-bidding or show a second suit, um, John. But normally, you can make it clear. Um, which of those two it is. Either way, any new suit bids over the transfer are definitely game forcing. And they will either be a second suit and giving uh, opener a choice or uh, a Q-bid in support of their first suit. Okay.
again, basic position with OCP is that by responder who is unlimited, um, it's a matter of partnership agreement. But certainly, if it's by opener, then it would always be a qubit at best. Um, I mean, my, my feelings on this, John, have actually shifted somewhat over the years. Yes, I, I think um, initially it probably is showing a suit, but that action is indistinguishable from responder starting a Q bidding sequence initially. Um, I think originally Jason and I started off using using beta um, and we sort of moved in favor of qubits over the years that we were playing um, certainly if it's at the three level I, I would say it's more likely to be a a second suit in a major if you've transferred to a minor. Um, so if it goes one no trump, two hearts overcall, three clubs, three diamonds, three spades, that's more likely to be a second suit. Where you've transferred into a major and you're showing a minor at the four level, it's more likely to be beta or a cubid. Um, I should think four clubs, Ellie. If Wed spids three diamonds rather than four diamonds, four clubs is definitely game forcing. Um, beta is an asking bid. It's 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 OCP's version of Roman Keycard Blackwood almost, except that we're thinking about controls, i.e. aces and kings. We count an ace as two controls, a king as one control, and we're showing the number of controls that we have rather than showing aces and then showing kings separately. Well, that's a shame. Okay, we'll lead and claim. Okay, there are a couple of inferences that I think North South missed here. Um, uh, the first one has to do with the four club bid. Three spades is a strong game forcing transfer to clubs. South could bid three no trumps if they really didn't like clubs, had good diamonds and and fancied playing in no trumps rather than playing in five clubs. Similarly, if they are quite enthusiastic about clubs but had no interest in a slam, they could bid five clubs over three spades. Because three spades is not a weak competitive bid, conceivably. If uh, if North was wanting to just compete in clubs, now just hang on a minute, Peter. Um, 
yes, you could have done. Uh, what I'm saying is that South can bid five clubs if they have absolutely no interest in a slam unless North is really strong. In other words, five clubs is weaker than four clubs. Four clubs is saying, I've got some controls here. Um, you know, if you are really strong, let's think about a slam. Absolutely right, Paula. The other thing that South can do is to immediately bid four diamonds rather than four clubs. And that immediately kicks off the Q bidding sequence. And that must be the ace. And that gets round. So now it goes um, four diamonds from South, four hearts from North. Um, probably... Um, five clubs wouldn't be rolling. Five clubs would simply be denying a spade control. Um, or South could bid five hearts. But that would tend to suggest that they had a spade control. It depends on your style. You know, I don't play ace asking um, personally. So it wouldn't be one for me. But um, at this stage of the course, we haven't introduced asking bids properly. So over four hearts from north, south could bid four no trumps, ace asking. And now you get to seven clubs very comfortably. I wouldn't bid five hearts over four hearts. Um, I think that tends to suggest that you've got the spade control as well. So... Uh, you could bid 4N, which is, if you're not playing that as ace asking, you could play 4N as more encouraging than just bidding five clubs over four hearts. But uh, either way, well done. Um, you got to the small slam. Uh, obviously, on these cards, you want to be in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You want to be in 7, no trumps, really. Um, safer than seven clubs and you've got 13 tricks on top but uh, depends on your style Peter you know people have different styles of cubiting I use Italian cubids where you know we almost freely cubid first and second round controls below game level um, and can Qubit, you know, even second round controls above game level if we've already denied a control at a lower stage of the bidding. Um, like I said, with OCP, uh, if I was bidding the north-south hands, I think I'd be bidding four no trumps over four hearts. That denies the spade control, but it shows... Uh, good values and wanting to go further, whereas five clubs is saying, um, yes, I really don't fancy this that much. Um, but uh, And now North can bid over four no trumps. North would bid five diamonds to show second round control of diamonds. And now South can bid five hearts. North can bid five spades. And uh, you're pretty much home free for seven clubs. All right, guys. I think we're going to call it a night, though, if you don't mind, because it's five past 11. All right. Hang on. No, I, they're, they're both the same, basically, Peter. Um... Four clubs. Okay. Um, four clubs would be better. Four clubs would be better if South didn't have control of diamonds. Because now it's it's effectively inviting a four diamond control bid, Q bid from North. 
but where south has the ace of where south has the ace of diamonds better to bid four diamonds I hope you're not trying to say that they're all clueless, Sanya. Okay, Peter, do you get the point there that, that four diamonds and four clubs essentially don't show stronger or weaker hands? I would bid four clubs if I didn't have the diamond control, but if I did, I would I would I would bid five diamonds. Sorry, four diamonds rather than four clubs. Because that's definitely a cubid, definitely the ace. So it's a matter of whether you've got control of the next suit above clubs. If you have, you're better off cubiting it. Um, and in this sequence, that would definitely be the ace of diamonds, not, you know, king x or something. Um, but give south. Oh, def well, both show suit support. If you didn't have good good suit support and you didn't fancy three no trumps, you would bid five clubs, not four clubs, because three spades is game forcing. Okay. Alrighty. Um, Night, everybody.